Osoruto, son of Boruto who got many abilities and power, more than his father or grandfather. In early ages, he managed to learn Chidori, Rasengan, Rasen Shuriken, Sage Mode, and he also got the Jogan and Otsutsuki inside. His power shocked Boruto and Naruto over and over again. But there's little thing which you don't know yet, and that's his brother, Renato Uzumaki. He was outside of Konoha traveling and learning about himself during few years with Konohomaru. He is finally back, and Soruto and Renato started working out again. Saruto was standing on the Konoha training field, trying to curb his two dojutsu, the Sharingan and the Jogan. No matter how hard he tried, he could not apply the power of the Sharingan and the Jogan at the same time. Hello, Saruto. What are you doing? Father, what do you want? Are you still trying to overpass your grandfather Sasuke? You want it all at once instead of going in it gradually, am I right? So what? Grandpa Sasuke was a great and consummate shinobi. I would be honored to be just like him. He easily controlled the power of the Hinnigan and the Eternal Mangekyo Sharingan. Yes, you're right. But you're not him and you will never be. No one in this world can become the new Uchiha Sasuke, just like a cat become Uzumaki Naruto. I am me, and you are you. Again you mentioned Grandfather who was the 7th Hokage? Why was he even called the strongest Hokage in the history of the Shinobi world? He didn't even have Dojutsu. All these rumors about his greatness and power are probably just empty words. Don't get me wrong, Dad, I respect him and his power, but not the rumors that everyone who's lazy is spreading about him. I see. You know, now you're just like me at your age. I didn't understand why they called my father the Hokage. I was just as surprised as you were when they called my father the strongest Hokage. Because he's just an old man who's always filling out paperwork in the Hokage's office, but... But... What? Why didn't you say anything? I'm just remembering the moment when I changed my mind about my father and saw his true power. At the time I was amazed that such a powerful person could even exist in this world. He easily fought Momoshiki Utsutsuki and dominated him in both hand-to-hand -hand combat and speed. What? Defeating Utsutsuki? I'll never believe it. Well then. See for himself. Boruto used an illusion on him and sent him back to the days when he himself, with his own eyes, saw his father's power. And it was very hard to believe what was happening. Without any dojutsu, Uzumaki Naruto dominated Momoshiko Tsutsuki and literally stomped his face into the ground. Naruto Uzumaki had a hard childhood. No one from my or your generation can fully understand it. In those times, Naruto had a monster inside, and everyone used to hate him, but he didn't give up, and had a dream to become Hokage. He sacrificed his life so many times and didn't even think about himself, only about friendship, only about his friends, village, family, and etc. That's what it takes to become the Hokage, and your grandfather is a true hero. My father was a very strong shinobi. He was the hero of the fourth shinobi world war and the one who united all five great countries. Even the previous Kages paled in comparison to him. In all of this, he achieved through hard work and training. He never retracted his words and only went forward. This is what made him the man he eventually became, the strongest Hokage in the history of this world. Your mother admired him even more than her own father. That's how tough and strong he was. What did he have to go through to be that strong? Through hell itself, he learned a lot and lost a lot along the way. Unlike you and me, he didn't know what it was like to have parents. His parents died right after he was born. He was a vessel of the nine-tailed fox demon, and because of that, all the village despised him and called him a demon. But even so, he never gave up and only went forward. He can't control the power of your eyes, and he couldn't control Biju's power. Except that, unlike you, he never complained about it. Even though he suffered because of that power. He hurt not only himself, but also the people around him. Do you see the difference, son? Yes, I do. Naruto Uzumaki was pretty cool. So what did you decide after seeing all that? I'll stop complaining about everything. And one day, through hard work and hard training, reach the same heights as my grandfather. I'll always remember what you just showed me. Thank you, Dad. 
You're welcome, son. I look forward to the day when you succeed. After this day, Saruto understood Naruto's past and what he has been through to reach the level where he is now. Sitting on the practice field, Saruto ate breakfast sandwiches that his mother, Sarada, had made for him. Suddenly, behind him, he heard the hustling of leaves. He turned around and saw her. She is Mobushiki's younger sister. Naomi, what do you want? I came to talk to you. Yeah? What about? About your eyes. Or rather, about the power that is hidden in them. No, that's it. What are you trying to tell me? This won't be news to you, of course. But you're a very unique person. Even your ancestors weren't. So, um, what's your point? To unlock your potential. You possess Jogen, the Eye of a God. Their power surpasses even the Rinnegan. It is limited only by your own imagination. This power is unparalleled. You are literally a god, in childlike form. Okay. I think I'm starting to understand you a little bit. Go on. Every day you get stronger and more dangerous for everyone, including yourself. If you don't learn how to control that power, it will not only destroy you, but also the rest of the world. Are you saying that I'm a... a nuclear bomb? Exactly. For example, the powers of these eyes include controlling life and death. Okay, stop! What do you mean, in life and death? The power may be in the eyes, but it's not limited to using them. You can let the chakra out even though it's inside of you. It's the same here. The eye is the source of that power. So it's in my power to decide who lives and who dies? In time, when you unleash the full potential of these eyes, you can literally do anything. I like that already! That sounds great! I mean, so one day I'll be at Otsutsuki's level? What about you? Are you strong? And what kind of relationship did you have with your brother anyway? Well, to make a long story short, not really. We weren't like relatives. My brother was always arrogant and never said anything nice. He treated me with disdain and looked down on me. But all of that was because he cared about me, and the only thing he wanted was to make me stronger. But you know that Momoshiki is inside my father, and you can't beat Boruto or something like that. I don't think that you're that strong. I know that without you, and my intention is not to fight your father. But be his friend. Okay, let's forget it. What does the Otsutsuki clan want anyway? Domination. They want to possess absolutely everything. That's why they travel the worlds and plant chakra fruit. They want limitless power, no matter how many people die in the process. I see. In other words, sick aliens? Yeah, something like that. So, by all means, I must learn how to control the powers of my eyes and become the one to end all the tyranny of the Utsutsuki clan. Hmm. Yeah. I'll show them that there are gods on Earth as powerful as they are. Hello? Are you Boruto, right? Yes, I am Boruto Uzumaki. Who asks? I am Naomi Otsutsuki. I am from Otsutsuki World. And I came here to talk with my brother. Naomi Otsutsuki? Wow, it's been a long time since I saw the Otsutsuki other than Momoshiki. Nice to meet you. Naomi, she is my little sister. Let me talk to her, Boruto. Okay. S sister I missed you. It's been a long time. I was going to come to the Otsutsuki world to take you here. But it was so dangerous because of other Utsutsukis. Take me... here? But you wanted to destroy this planet and take power from it, brother. Why did you change your opinion? Yes, you're right, my sister. That was my main goal. But I changed my opinion when I got into this human's body as a karma. Every negative feeling which I had came from the Utsutsuki world. I was happy when I was a kid, but they forced me to be violent, and I couldn't do anything to fight with it. 
This villain and me was a character which I was using to hide my real nature. And here on Earth, in Konoha, I found myself. Around these guys, I feel really happy. Boruto showed me what I really wanted in my life, and I am happy to have an opportunity to live with him. For real, brother? This is very good, and I feel so happy for you. I still can't believe that you escaped from the hell and came to the earth. Hello, Boruto. Who is this kid? This little kid is the sister of Momoshiki, and she came to earth to help us and live with her brother in harmony. Is she... An Otsutsuki? Well, sounds great. She can't stay, obviously. What do you think if you can take Soruto and Nomi in one team and be their sensei? You are old enough to have your own team, son. That's actually a very good idea. Since Boruto got Joga and Nomi is an Otsutsuki, they are perfect fit for my team. Jogen? Does he really got Jogen? What is happening with these guys? How did they get this power? I got good news for you, Boruto. Something new happened. What? Tell me, Sarada. What is it? What happened? This is very good news. Are you prepared for it? Y yes, of course I am prepared for it. Tell me. What is it? Why are you playing with me? Yes, I saw the doctor today, and she told me that I am pregnant. That's... That's very good news, Sarada. <laughs> I can't believe it. I will become a father. This hurts. I can't stand it. This hurts so much. Little bit more. We almost got it. Stay strong, Sarada. We almost got your child. He is so beautiful. He will become a legendary shinobi. What is the name of the boy? Soruto. Soruto Uzumaki. And this is the story of Soruto's birth. And at that day, a legendary shinobi called Soruto was born, who will become the strongest shinobi of all time. One day, Soruto was in Naruto's office and found his old jacket, which was dirty for overusing, and he took it. In the meantime, Naruto and Sasuke appeared in the room. So, Soruto, do you like it? This thing is so dirty. But I really like the design. Is this yours, Grandpa? Yes. That's mine. I was using it in your age. And it's so dirty because I was training very hard with it. He is lying to you, Soruto. I used to beat his ass in our childhood. And that's why it's so dirty. Grandpa? Did you only have this jacket? Nothing more? Soruto. Your grandparents had different childhood than yours. I can afford everything for you. But they didn't even have parents. They didn't? But I know that Naruto's father was Minato Nabikaze, legendary shinobi and yellow flesh of Konoha. They die in the day I was born. And I had to grow up with Kurama inside of me. And that's why everyone used to hate me. I was alone until the moment when I earned respect by proving impossible things and saving village multiple times. So you didn't have anyone who could buy clothings for you? And you only had this jacket? It wasn't like that, Soruto. <laughs> when I was a child, only few people loved me and believed in me. One of them was Jiraiya Sensei. Yes, yes, I know him. He was the richest ninja of all time, and he was one of the legendary Seni. Yeah, that bastard was rich. But still, he was making me pay every dinner. So he was like a father for you, Grandpa? Yes, exactly. He taught me about Rasengan and trained me during years. He also bought me a new jacket too when I was older. And with that jacket, I fought in the 4th Ninja World War. Where is he now? He... He's dead. He sacrificed himself for the peace of this world. He was a legendary ninja, who took responsibility of raising me when no one wanted to be around me. He taught me the meaning of being a ninja and purpose of the life. He is one of the main reasons of peace in this world right now. You and your father are living in a peaceful world where there's no war between the five nations because of him and many legendary ninjas like my father, Sasuke's big brother, and etc. Wow. I understand it, Grandpa. But what about Otsutsukis? There are still many villains who are trying to invade in Konoha. 
Yes, you're right. But without these ninjas, the world would already be destroyed. And we wouldn't even have a chance to fight for peace against the Tsutsukis. Yes, Naruto is right. Without our heroes, we couldn't even survive. By the way, you mentioned Sasuke's brother. I know nothing about him. Can you also tell me who was he and what he did? Yes, of course, Soruto. He was a legendary shinobi. While on the training field, Soruto waited for the moment when his father, Boruto, would finally start his training. Um, well, sorry. I can't make it today. I got very important stuff to do. Once again, I got sent in a new s rank mission. What? Are you serious, Dad? I wanted to train with you! Come on, don't be sad. Today, Grandfather will train you. Suddenly, Soruto heard some rustling behind him. Turning around, he saw Naruto. Grandpa! How glad I am to see you! I am happy to see you too, Soruto. So, let's begin the training, Soruto. Alright, let's start. Right. Let's start with the Rasengan. Right off the bat, I can tell you the technique was created by your great-grandfather. My father, Minato Namikaze, who was the fourth Hokage. He created this technique based on the tail bomb. The training consists of three steps. Rotation, strength, and restraint. If you complete all these stages, you can learn the technique as well. Wow, that doesn't sound so easy. Yeah, it's not really. You should know how torturous my training was. Yeah, but I learned that jutsu by just observing my dad. You must be joking, Soruto. No one can teach Rasengan by just observing the jutsu. You sure? Look at this then. Naruto was shocked to see Soruto making legit Rasengan, and he already understood that his grandson had more potential than himself and Boruto. Then I can teach you a new jutsu. If you're able to combine this with Rasengan, you will have power equal to my and Sasuke's childhood combined. Are you serious? About which technique are you talking about, Grandpa? I am talking about Shidori, but I will need help of Kakashi and Sasuke here. This animation is sponsored by one and only War Thunder, the most comprehensive vehicle combat game ever made. In this game, there are more than 2,000 tanks, planes, helicopters, and ships. Every vehicle you will see is incredibly detailed and modeled. This game got a collection of vehicles with over 100 years of development from 1920s to the present day. You got the ability to customize your vehicles with enemy themed skins, the detailed vehicle damage models, or amount of vehicles. My favorite part of this game is graphics and how it feels like to fly with my favorite vehicle F-14. You must try it. Play for free on PC, PlayStation, or Xbox using our link mentioned in the description all below and comments. If you haven't played for at least six months, you can claim the body pillow pack by using the link. It includes premium vehicles, premium account, and new favorite Dakimakuda among other bonuses, and is available for a limited time only. Starts his training to learn one of the most powerful techniques, Chidori. We are in the right place. This is where I made my first Chidori. Kakashi Sensei taught me this powerful technique. He was the sixth Okage of the Hidden Leaf and master of the Team Seven. Yes, I remember your first Chidori against Gara at Juni exams. That was magnificent. First of all, when I started to learn this technique, that was really hard for me. This technique had limits. My limit was three Chidori at the same time, but I was just a kid at that moment. I am ready to start my training. Tell me the first steps. We should first figure out your chakra nature. My chakra natures are lightning and earth. Perfect. First combination of focusing your chakra at single point and the swiftness of your strike creates a unique sound that resembles lightning. That's why this technique is called Chidori. This is a great power. I want to learn this technique as soon as possible. Since you have two Tomoe shotting gun, it's possible to learn Chidori. Don't hurry up. You could end up fatally injured if your opponent counters it. It's double-edged sword. In order to do that, you need to focus your chakra at a single point and increase the speed of your strike. It'll be very difficult. I will try then, Soruto. At first, focus your chakra at a single point. 
That is the first step of Chidori. And add lightning nature of your chakra. Okay, I'll do my best. Soruto tried so hard, but it's impossible to do at first time. A such difficult technique like Chidori. Why? Why can't I make it? Listen, son. It's impossible to make it at your first try. Naruto is right. When I was training Rasengan, I spent hours and days at training field to just pop out the single balloon with my chakra. Yeah, but Rasengan and Chidori are different techniques. Not at all. The difference of these two techniques are just chakra nature. Both of them need to focus your chakra at the same point. I understood that, but it just didn't work. You should look this on other ways. What does that mean? You should figure out that. I am only telling you that you should find other way to do it. I'm telling you that from my experience. Lightning style consumes an enormous amount of chakra. You should break up and continue tomorrow. No! I still have enough chakra to make it. I'll give you one more tip. Okay. I'm listening to you. Listen to me carefully. And at the same time, Try to control and focus your chakra. Feel your energy. Collect chakra of your center of hand. Take control. No way. It's working. I can't believe my own eyes. Nice work, Sasuke. Don't distract Soruto. Now, add your lightning technique and control it. Focus chakra at the same point. And that's it. There is your first Chidori, Soruto. Look at me, Dad! I made it! My first Chidori! Me and Sasuke spent days, months, and years to master these techniques. And him taught him in one day, in hours. I can't believe my own eyes. I am so proud of you. Hello, Grandpa Sasuke. Why do you bring me here? Saruto, I have to tell you about your great uncle Itachi Uchiha's story. From the beginning to end, that's gonna be a long day. I have heard about Uncle Itachi, but also I have some questions about Itachi. For example, why did he kill the entire Uchiha clan? Why you call him a hero if he killed your clan? Also, what he did in the 4th Shinobi World War? I don't, I don't know the answers about these questions, and I'm very interested in yours and Itachi's stories. Before I start it, we need one man, and he's coming. Hello there. Sorry, Sasuke. Soruto. I am late. <laughs> You're always late. Okay, never mind. I begin the story from our childhood. We were very good brother for each other. When he went for training, I was always with him, and always begged him to teach me kunai techniques. <laughs> he told me every time. I'm sorry, Sasuke. Maybe next time. <laughs> After training, I climbed on his waist and went to the village. One day, Itachi was in such a bad mood. It was strange for him because he was always smiling. I saw how Uchiha clan members arrived at home. After a few moments, they began to fight. Itachi beat them all. When I saw his eyes, he was different from the other Sharingan eyes. I never saw something like that. I was a bit scared at that moment. Next day, I went to school, and when I came back at Uchiha clan streets, no one was out. Everything and everyone was so calm. I was scared and ran towards my house. When I was shouting to my parents, but no one hear me. And when I entered to my parents' room, I was shocked. My dad and my mom were laid down on the floor, and were bleeding. Back there stood Itachi with his sword. He was in blood too. I ran so fast towards the streets to call someone for help. He was evil, not a hero. Why did he do that? I don't understand. Let me finish, Soruto. After that night, my life goal was to kill my brother. My main purpose was to become stronger than my brother. Few years later, he arrived in the village to take Nine Tails Chinchuriki Naruto with him. What? Why did he need Naruto? I will tell you later. When I heard that he was in the village, I thought I could kill him. But he was far stronger with his Mangekyo Sharingan. He did same genjutsu on me. He broke my wrist and fall me onto the ground. 
That day he told me to get more stronger, and about one month after that day I left the village. I joined Orochimaru and he trained me for years. I received great powers and techniques. When I was about 16 or 17, I started to search Hitachi, and that day came. I followed him for days. At last, he and his mate in Akatsuki waited for me in Uchiha's castle. After many years, I met him. I was stronger than then. We started fighting, which was a legendary battle between me and my brother. At last, in the heat of the battle, Itachi was weakened. He was not able to take some steps anymore. He came near me, and like in my childhood, he put fingers at my forehead and told me, I will always love you, Sasuke. He fell down. I was also weakened. I went down too, and Obito, or Toby at that time, took me in his house. He told me about Itachi. Why did he do all of that? As it turned out, the Uchiha clan wanted a rebellion to take Konoha. At that moment, Itachi was double agent between the Uchiha clan and the Hokage. He told everything to the third Hokage. He had no other choice. He loved his village. So for the village, he killed our parents and Uchiha clan. And I also heard that he had an incurable disease. In the battle, I didn't kill him. He died with his disease. He wanted to destroy Konoha and every single person who lived there. And then started 4th Shinobi World War. That war, Kabuto resurrected some great shinobis. I met Itachi again then. Then we beat Kabuto and stopped Edo Tensei. He was a hero, not only for our village, but also for the whole world. Soruto and his son Soruto are training in the forest. Soruto is trying to activate his secret eye Jogan, but he cannot control it. Try to concentrate even more, son. I know you can do this. Just relax and think about your power only. Where are we? What is this place? I don't know. Even I didn't know you could do this, Soruto. So you finally arrived, Boruto and Soruto. I've been waiting for you guys for a long time. <gasps> Dad? Who is this creepy guy? He looks at us like he know us. Calm down, Boruto. Let him introduce himself. Yeah, my name is Minato, and I am Naruto's... This... this can't be. Are you... Are you Minato Namikaze? The fourth great Hokage in the yellow flesh of Konoha? Yeah, that's exactly who I am. I am Naruto's father. You guys only know me, um, from history books, probably. Yes, and also my father. He talked about you and Kushina. My beautiful red-haired grandmother. Yeah, Kushina is very beautiful. And proud mother, thanks to Naruto. So you are the guy from the Hokage monuments. Dad? So, this is your grandfather? He is the legendary Minato Namikaze, the fastest man who ever lived in this planet. Whoa! Fastest man? That's crazy! Yes, I am your great-grandfather. Whoa, whoa! This sounds very interesting. Tell me more about yourself and your stories. I, I, I don't know anything about your past or even about previous Hokages. Oh yeah, I heard the story that you beat a thousand shinobis. Is that true, Minato? Actually, that's not 100% true. Konoha was in a very hard situation in the war against the Rock Village. Konoha was losing against them and I had to go to help the army. I managed to defeat almost everyone, but there was less than a thousand ninjas. In the end, Tsushikage Onoki accepted to sign the peace treaty. Wow, that must be amazing. In the end, everything ended up very well because of you, Minato. Oh, it's not like that, Soruto. Those times were really different. My son, Naruto, with the help of other nations and his friends, managed to bring peace to the world. In my time, many people were dying because of stupid reasons. Ninja world was very different. Main ninja meant to kill other people from different nations, no matter of their personality. There was only one rule. Finish your mission, kill or get killed. Yes. I know things from the past, and this sounds very interesting. I know that my father suffered a lot to reach this level. Are you guys serious? 
Back then, there was only war and nothing more? That's right, Soruto. Many teen ninjas, with the same age as you are, had to go to war. They killed people and died fighting. I am sure that you got so much potential and you will explore it time by time in the future. But in the past, ninjas with your age were dying in the battlefield. Some of them got killed brutally by older ninjas. That's how hard was life of Shinobi back in the time. I heard that legendary Kakashi Hatake was your student. Is that right? That is correct, grandson Boruto. Wait, Kakashi? The sixth Okage? Tell us the story about him too, please, Minato! I also want to know who was Kakashi's teammate. Was my guy there? Calm down, Soruto. Don't give him that many questions so quickly. It's okay, Boruto. I will explain that to you. So, my guy wasn't Kakashi's teammate. Kakashi had two very good teammates, Rin and Obito Uchiha. Uchiha? So he has my blood. That's very interesting, but I never heard of that guy before. Actually, I only know about my mother Sarada, Sasuke, and Itachi. Grandpa Sasuke told me stories about his brother. But other than that, I don't know anything about other Uchihas. Well, Ren sacrificed herself to save the village and Obito sacrificed himself to save Kakashi. And after that, he gave his Sharingan to the Hatake. That's why Kakashi got Sharingan. That's so interesting. So Obito sacrificed himself for his friend and died as a hero. Uh, he didn't die there. It's a long story. We don't have enough time to talk about that story. Once you master your Jongen and power better, you will be able to travel into this afterlife dimension more and talk with many other people. Even with Obito himself. So right now, only thing you must do is training. Push your limits, Soruto. It was nice to see you and talk with you, great grandpa. Hope we can talk again in the future. I will train and surpass my limits, you'll see it. Thanks for everything, Minato. This power of Soruto is new for me too. We will investigate it more and more. And come back with more power, of course. Thanks again, and see you soon. Love you, kids, and uh, take care of yourselves. Kushina will be very happy to hear about you too. Hope you will see her soon. <laughs> for this moment, I have to say goodbye. 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 Naruto is in his office with Sasuke, Orochimaru, and others, and they are talking about Soruto's future. I'm worried about Soruto's future. He mastered Hasen Shuriken pretty quickly, but still, it's very dangerous. I agree. That jutsu is very massive, and along with other power jutsus which Soruto managed to master in such an early age, it's very risky for him to use it. It's not about risky anymore. Even I can't use it without Sage Mode. What do you say, Orochimaru? I agree with you, Naruto. In this case, if Soruto keeps using Asen Shuriken, he will just hurt himself. And he won't be able to do simple ninjutsu either. The only option in this situation is the Sage Mode. Yes, of course I thought about that, but... Soruto is still just a kid, and he already got too much power. And he knows a couple of very hard jutsus. I think that massive power could be fatal for him. He also owns an eye which lets him do things I have never seen. Agreed. But there's one thing. The kid got fire inside of him. If we won't give him the opportunity, he will search other ways to get that power up. I agree with Sasuke. If we don't resolve this problem, he will keep using Hasen Shuriken and other deadly jutsus which will bring us to the fatal results. Yes, that's also right. When I was training in Sage Mode, I felt my Devil Energy and Kuruma inside of me. I think Soruto could find out things about his power and improve as a ninja there in the Mount Miyobuku. There is one thing. Who will go with Soruto? You will need someone there for Konoha. I'll do it. Mount Miyobuku will also be good for my training. And no one will protect my son as good as I will. Okay, then tomorrow, Boruto and Soruto will go to Mount Miyobuku. Hello, son. Can I talk with you? I got some news. For sure, Dad. What is it? We are going to a new place tomorrow. A new place? Where? It is called the Mount Miyabuku. We are going with Master Frogs for you to learn their Sage Mode. Wow, that sounds very good, Dad. Tell me more about them. Are they strong? Of course they are, son. You will see it by yourself tomorrow. 
Now go to sleep and rest well. It would be a very hard day. Alrighty. Good night. Night, Dad. Do they think that they can help you? What was that voice? So strange, it happened again. I'll sleep. I need energy for tomorrow. Time to go to Mount Miyobuku. Yes, I know, Dad. How long will it take? Nothing soon. We will be teleported there. It will take a few seconds. Sounds very good. So, are you two ready for a new adventure? Yes, Grandpa. Sure we are. I think this trip will be very useful for the development of my power. I really want to train very hard. I like your dedication, Soruto. But you must be very careful. You can't get very emotional there. Mount Miyobuku isn't a place where you can lose control on your own actions. What do you mean, father? There, you too must learn nature control. Soruto, I know that you like doing jutsus very fast. But there, you must relax and concentrate. Moving fast could lead you to a very fatal mistake. Once you arrive at Mount Miyobuku, you will understand what I'm saying. Thanks, Grandpa, for the advice. I will try to do my best to be as relaxed as possible. And also, you must try to learn so much about your hidden power. Try to understand what's that energy which is inside of you, and find some way to work with it in harmony. Use that energy carefully and mix it with your chakra. That would need total concentration, Soruto. Thanks, Dad, for the advice. Now we must go. It's already late. Okay, Boruto. You two take care. Soruto and Boruto arrived at the Mount Miyabuka for the trading. So you guys must be Soruto and Boruto, right? Hello, sir. Yes, I am Boruto, son of Naruto Uzumaki. And this is my son. Soruto. Nice to see you, kids. It's nice to see that that brat achieved his goals of becoming Hokage, and then created a family like this. I am really proud of Naruto. He would be proud of that kid, too. Sorry, uh, who is he? He is talking about Pervy Sage, Jiraiya. He was the sensei of Naruto and legend. Jiraiya was also master of the Sage Mode, and he sacrificed himself in the battle against Pain, leader of the Akatsuki. Yes, I know him. He is well-known ninja from the Shinobi books. He was truly a legend. Okay, so let's stop talking. Okay, so let's stop talking and start with the most important thing. Training! Perfect! You two must focus on yourselves. Forget about everything. Think like there is nothing around you. Become nature. Feel nature. Think of it as if it was part of you and focus. Don't lose the focus. Soruto, I heard that you got some unexplored energy inside of you, and I want to focus on that. Try to face it but in calm. Try to make him your friend. Try to take all that bad energy and throw it. Forget it. You only need pure energy, which will help you to improve. Try to find it, Soruto. Hello, Soruto. Finally, we meet each other. My name is Diavolo Otsutsuki, and I am owner of your body. What do you mean? I am owner of my own body. Where did you come from? Explain it right now! I guess you don't understand it. You want all that power and energy that you're receiving from me, but you don't know me. What a failure. What do you mean? It's the first time I'm seeing you. I tried to get in contact with you several times, but as you aren't capable of talking with me and deal with my power... Wait, so the voices in my head... They were all you? Of course they were me! Voices in your head are just the beginning! You will feel my power really soon! You know I'm not scared of you. You look like very depressed. Tell me about your life. Why are you so sad, my friend? What are you talking about, idiot? I am going to destroy you very soon, so prepare! I get it. You had a very hard life. But now one thing, you are inside of me, so you must listen to me when I talk. You don't have any other choice. You must become my friend. And we must change that creepy face. Can you even, um, smile? Prepare yourself, kid, because next time, 
Your jokes won't save you! I did it! I activated the Sage Mel- Brother, sometimes I think about one thing. Do you think that- No, nothing, never mind. Don't be like that, Sorito. Tell me. You know our father and grandfather. I wonder if we're living up to their expectations. What do you mean, brother? You know, our grandfather was considered one of the most strongest ninjas in the world. Yeah, he was the best Hokage, though. People look up to him like our mother, Sarada. Yeah, he was a very strong Hokage. He sacrificed his life during ages for the Konoha and their people. You're right, he was legendary. He won the war against Madara Uchiha and fought for his dreams. Yeah, and also our dad, Boruto. He lived in the shadow of his father's legacy but still managed to overcome that and become Konoha's strongest ninja who saved people's lives many times. Indeed, both of them with Sasuke were exceptional and special ninjas. Yeah, and I don't know, people look at us and expect us something unreal from me and you. Stop that! You know that with the training and believing in ourselves, we will overcome any difficulties. You're right. But sometimes I feel very sad. There's too much pressure on us. Like, I can't live a normal life. So, Soruto, why are you saying that? Look at this! What do we got here? Our lazy boy sneaky from the training and chilly. <laughs> Stop it, Boruto! They trained very hard today. I'm sure that they're just taking a break. Look at this, Naruto. Who thought that everything would end up like this? Isn't it beautiful, Sasuke? Everything we fought for. We finally got this beautiful family. Grandpa! Dad! I haven't noticed you. How are you doing? We're doing very good. I wish I could say the same for Soruto. He seems kind of sad today. You were listening to us secretly, weren't you, father? Actually, we didn't want to. We just heard accidentally. So, you're feeling sad, Soruto, because of the expectations and pressure. Yeah, something like that. I feel like even if I get very strong and powerful, I can't ever surpass legacy of you three. Stop it, Soruto. You know we will become very exceptional ninjas. Best of the world. I feel very good to hear that from you, Rinato. Dad, I think you should tell them the story about your father. I thought you grew up without a father. Can you tell me the name of the fourth Hokage, Soruto? The fourth? Lord Minato, right? Yeah, Minato Namikaze. He was considered as fast as ninja of the world, and he was called Yellow Flesh of Konoha. Yes, yes, you're right. So what about him? He was my father. What? Your father? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to hear a story about it? Yes, yes, please, Grandpa. Isn't it better for you to show them rather than tell them? All right. Use your genjutsu on them, Sasuke. Sasuke uses genjutsu on everyone and shows them the lonely life of Naruto. They watched Naruto's childhood, how he grew up like a loser, how no one believed in him, how he was sad, alone in his room, and how he didn't have any friends. Then Sasuke showed the kids how Naruto started to become better and better. His training with Jiraiya, how he mastered Rush and Shuriken, and how our lonely boy gained new friends and love from senseis. They watched everything until the fight between Naruto and Pain. And that moment, Naruto says, Stop it, Sasuke. I want to say something. Dad, even I didn't know about all of this. What happened? I knew that our grandpa suffered, but this is too much pain. I am shocked. Okay, kids. In this fight against Pain, I met my father. My dead father talked, and I punched him from sacrificing himself for village and leaving me with the beast inside of me. We always want what we don't have. Like me, I wanted a family, and I thought without it, I could have become what I am today. Do you think if you have less pressure, you will achieve more? That's not like that. Remember, appreciate what you already have and don't look at something you don't because... If you lose what you have and then appreciate it, we'll be too late. They'll always want something that they don't have. Now I want you two to think about this and use it as a fuel. You must be happy to have father like Boruto and grandfathers like me and Sasuke. But instead of being sad, you must be working very hard in order to surpass us. Because with will of fire, everything is possible. <laughs> that was a very beautiful speech. Did you understand everything, kids? Yeah, I understand it very well. Yeah, Grandpa. Sorry about that. It won't happen again. 
I will become the strongest shinobi of all time. No, you won't. I will be the strongest. No, it'll be me. What a beautiful life we created, Sasuke. I totally agree. Itachi would be proud of you. Hello, kids. How did you sleep? I oh, slept very well, father. Can't wait to start training already. Me too, brother. I am so happy to be here. I missed Konoha so much. Oh yeah, Renato? While you were gone for a couple of years, we all missed you. Dad! Dad! I know you're a busy guy and don't know when I will see you again. Can you please tell us some stories? Yeah! That would be awesome! Grandpa told us a story about his childhood. I want to hear some stories from you too! Okay, okay, fine. What kind of story would you like me to tell you? Uh, what about your love story with our mom? Yeah, yeah, that's a good one! Are you sure? Yes, of course, tell us! Okay then, many years ago I had to... Our duties are getting bigger and bigger, Sasuke. Nothing's better than living in peace without worrying a lot. But living as a Hokage and in general... You know, his fate is no joke. You're right. But as you know, we chose this lifestyle. This is our ninja way, and we have to live like that till the end. Yeah, I know, Sasuke. This kid which meant to be Konoha's future is getting danger for his own village and people. I already made the decision. You have to take Boruto and leave Konoha today. What we should expect after that time. I don't really want to make any predictions yet. I feel happy when I see a beautiful day like this. Actually, not only that day is the reason why I feel happy. I feel sad and happy at the same time. That sunny day and being with you having conversations give me a joy of life. Why are you sad, Baruto? What's wrong? Let's not talk about that now. I will tell you later. I just want to be here with you and talk about something nice. Something that makes us happy, you know? Okay, Baruto. But... I'm getting just a little bit nervous. Don't worry about anything, Sarada. Everything will be just fine. All right, Sasuke. It is almost time to leave. Just a couple of hours and you two will leave the village. Until that time, let's walk around just a little bit and talk about more things. Look, what a sunny, beautiful day is today. Baito, whatever it is, I'm sure we'll figure out how to handle anything. I'm ready for everything. Because you're making me better. Stronger than I am. I'm going to leave Konoha with Sasuke today. We have to leave the village in a couple hours. The trip will last two or three years. It depends on my progress. It's getting dangerous for me staying more time in the village. Until I can be sure that I can control my body and Momoshiki won't take control over my body. But, but Baruto, we will be able to do something if that happens. I think it's not necessary to leave the village. I will miss you, Baruto. I will miss you too, Sarada. But we have to understand that if I stay in the village, it might be dangerous. And we can't be sure if we can handle the consequences of what will come after that. We have to think about the village first, and then about ourselves. About our feelings. Alright, Baruto. If you think so, I can't do anything. I will wait for you. I will become stronger. And never stop going forward. That's another good reason why I have to leave the village with Sasuke. I have to be as strong as possible, Shinobi, to keep you safe as a Hokage of this village. Nothing ever can hurt you, Sarada. I'm going to be with you till the end. I think he's just happy, living his life. He's really excited, and the reason is his kid. <laughs> Kakashi has never experienced such happiness. That's the reason why he seems different. Maybe you're right, Naruto. There is nothing to worry about. Hey, look! I guess that's Borto and Sarada. Don't you think so, Sasuke? I don't know. Let's get closer. So that's it. I guess... Look at them. I think they cannot see us. We're so sneaky, but that's okay. What's going on? They're so close to each other. Borto, you bastard! That's my daughter! Well, that's not going to end up very well. Wow, that story was amazing. I wouldn't want to fight Grandpa Sasuke with his ultimate Susanoo. Yeah. How did you survive that, Dad? Uh, that's complicated, boys. I guess I had luck. When I was outside Konoha, Konoha Maru told me stuff about you and your brother, Kawaki. Kawaki, huh? Yes, I know that too. I heard that you two had legendary fight in the Konoha. Tell me about that, Dad. Please. 
Are you guys sure that you want to hear that story? Yeah, come on, Dad, please. Okay, but that's the last time. You must train after this. Okay, okay, we promise. Okay, then. One day. Kaoki! You betrayed the village. My father's death doesn't allow you to do such horrible things. You must pay the price. Pay the price for it? You're funny. Come on then. Attack me, you little brat. Why, Kawaki? Why did you do this? I considered you as a brother. And I loved you. Your plan about taking revenge is horrible. How could you do that? Stop behaving like a kid, Boruto. Kawaki is a part of our family now. I will die for Naruto. Life without the Seventh doesn't make any sense for me. Stupid. We're brothers. Stop crying and acting like a little boy, Boruto. Don't you get it? We lost our father. He was the most precious person in my life. He was the first who truly accepted me as I was and raised me. He looked at me like a human. Don't you have rage inside of you? When you saw your father die? Yes. But there's always wrong and right. I can't let you go to the wrong path. Our father's death doesn't allow you to do that. Shut up! Did everything change, Kawaki? When did you change your opinion about us? You lied to everyone. You lied to me. You lied to my father. You betrayed every single person who truly loved and cared about you. I was always saying, our life for me doesn't make any sense without the seventh Hokage. Now that he's dead, I will do everything that I can to revenge his life. Those Otsutsukis must pay the price! That's not a proper way of thinking. I don't care! Whatever it takes, I will get stronger and revenge Naruto! I am tired of this training. It doesn't give us enough strength. It's not even close to enough. We're training very hard with all our energy. But against cold, we won't even last five minutes! I'm not even talking about Otsutsukis who will come to the Earth to revenge for Ishiki. Kawaki, we need more power. We must get stronger. Otsutsuki power was always a mystery for me. Otsutsuki God, everything's more fucked up than it seems. I see no solution for this moment rather than just training. Oi, stupid. Talking won't change anything. Stand up. Let's go train more. One thing is for sure. We would do everything to win. There is no time to take a nap or chill. I will do everything to protect the Lord Seventh, even if that means destroying my friend and or enemy. This is mine and my only goal. What's wrong with them? Destroying his friend? It sounds very strange. I already told you, Boruto. The Seventh Hokage was the only one I had. And I was ready to sacrifice my life to save his. Naruto Uzumaki changed my life. Before him, I was in hell with Ishiki. He was the only person who looked at me as a human and received me. He was the reason of my life, and my only objective was to save him from anything. Now he's dead, and I don't care anymore. I will destroy anything and anyone who will go against me. I must revenge him. You're wrong, Kawaki! In this, we're all together. And we can only win if we work side by side. You can't betray us and just go on your way doing things which is not allowed. Your actions will have consequences. Shut up, Boruto. 
You don't know anything. You don't know how I feel. How are you not feeling the same as me? How you aren't angry as I am. I am ready to destroy anything for my father and you... You! You're standing there, acting like a coward, talking about rights and wrongs. You're not worthy to be son of Naruto Uzumaki. Kawaki! Did you forget the way how father was living? Did you forget his thoughts? Actions? He was kind and wouldn't tolerate your actions at all. He became Hokage by acting totally on the contrary. Remember who was your father and what he wanted. I don't care how he would react. As long as I achieve my goal. Kawaki, I understand your anger. I can't let you do that. You know that during decades in this place, the fate of the world was decided over and over again. From Hashirama, the first Hokage and Madara Uchiha to our father and Sasuke. Now it's me and you. And today, I will stop you as your brother. And I will be responsible for you. You know what? We've been through a lot. From the beginning, I was watching you and thinking, who is this selfish brat? I thought that hurting people was giving you joy, but then, after Dad took you to home and I observed your actions, I realized that you never had family. You didn't want to hurt anyone. You just wanted to feel loved and appreciated. My father saw himself in you. He was like you in the childhood, but he never went with the wrong path. Our dad... I would never want his people to suffer and get hurt. That's why I will stop you as your brother, and help you. When I saw you for the first time, I thought that you were just an arrogant kid, who had everything and couldn't appreciate anything. That's why I didn't like you. Time after time, I saw your real face. You had everything which I was wondering. But you were in the shadow of your father. You were just a kid and couldn't realize that Naruto was doing all of this for his people, family, and the world. Boruto, I really consider you as my brother, but sorry. I gotta do what I am supposed to do. And if that means to fight you and defeat you before I will, I can't stop. Sorry, brother. <sighs> Karachi! Let's finish this! And then, then, then what happened, Dad? Tell us! Yes, we want to know! It's enough for today. I'll finish this story another day. No! Dad, please! Please, Dad, tell us! Don't do that to us, Dad! Tell us the story! I said that's enough for today. Shut up and go train already. Dad! Dad! If you want to see the next part of this animation, don't forget to check our sponsor's incredible game, War Thunder. See you there!